Hi everybody, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I wanted to post a sort of unedited uh, version of me talking in front of the camera. Um, and yeah, sort of a sort of a behind the scenes, I guess, in terms of what it's more of what it's like for me to actually talk. Um, if I'm at least if I'm explaining, trying to explain something in kind of a more of a formal setting, I guess, like this. Um, I do all right talking to like my immediate family, um, but as far as um, yeah, you'll see in the videos, they're highly edited. I sometimes even um, am cutting cutting in the middle middle of words to get my sentences and everything just, you know, as close to the way uh, that I, close to the way that I like them, <laughs> as close to the way as I would like them to be. Um, and yeah, I mentioned in the past that I'm using the camera as kind of a, a way to do this because if I was interacting with someone right now and I'm having pauses or just stumbling over my words especially if I'm like you know say you know that the the bank teller <clears throat> there's people behind you waiting they're kind of nobody knows what's what's going on right we call the brain injury an invisible illness um, because kind of on face value um, you can't really tell what's going on because you can't tell just by looking at the person since the brain is on the, the inside. Of course, that's the same with, you know, whether you have a heart trouble or, or, or you do some other organ, um, issues with some other organ. But, uh, I forget what I was saying. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, congratulations if you've made it this far in the video. It's not not as smooth as my uh, other ones. Um, yeah, invisible illness. So what I was actually going to talk about was um, aphasia, which is, in a nutshell, um, difficulty finding words. And I was just going to talk about how that manifests for me. Um, so there's 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 three different ways that that I that, that aphasia mostly happens for me. Um, at least I that's the cue to myself. I'm trying to remember what the three ways that actually are. Well, the first is like um, <clears throat> I think it happens to everybody to some degree where you see an apple sitting on the table. But you just can't quite think of the name. You've got the concept and everything, but you just can't quite think of the name. And that's you're thinking, what's that called again? It's sort of a first, uh, a first way that um, I experience that. Except not not so much these days. If I see the actual object uh, or thing, I'm uh, I, I can think of the word more often than uh, than I used to be able to. Uh, the second is where. <clears throat> For me, uh, assuming this actually lumps in, I'll have the word in my mind and it'll seem like it applies, but I won't actually be able to remember the definition of the word. Uh, I think of an example. There was a, Trying to think of an example here. There, I remember half of an example that I had used in the past. Basically, there was like a, a, a something that was shaped kind of like a, a mop, I think. And I and I thought, oh, that looks like a hydra. And um, in my mind, I was like, that seems right. It seems like that looks like a hydra, but I don't remember what a hydra is. And I looked up. I think it was uh, forgetting the moment. I think it was a, a, a plant. Is what I was thinking of. Um, and it did have this similar kind of mop shaped uh, shape to it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that was, what was that? Yeah, that was having um, a word 
but you can't remember the definition of the word. The third thing, the third thing, or the third way for me is kind of like uh, where you don't really have the word or the concept, uh, or the, yeah. Um, and that is more, I sometimes think of that as like a pause in thoughts. This is maybe not exactly a standard aphasia. It might be kind of in or out of the lines of it, but um, <clears throat> that will be like uh, sort of mid-sentence, you know, you're, you're about to, or, or maybe at the end of a sentence, you're about to move on to another concept and you're getting ready to s say what that is. And, um, and everything just kind of uh, stops. It's like you, the concept kind of disappears and the word kind of disappears and you're just, I'm just sort of left in like in this kind of hanging state. And it is just weird in the sense that you can't, uh, uh, you can't point at something and say, now what's that called? And you also can't say, oh, I can't think of the name for this, this, this one thing. It's just like, there's neither of those. And so you're kind of in this weird, uh, I don't know, just like looking around an empty room kind of in, in my mind, just waiting for something to happen. Cause it's just, it's just, it's just yeah, it's weird. I, I usually call them a, th a thought pause. Well, that's not exactly a thought pause because I'm still conscious that I'm there and struggling. What I've called thought pauses in the past were like, everything just kind of stops. I mean, I would be like conscious of, um, I'd be like conscious of my existence, but everything was just kind of disconnected. Um, yeah, it didn't necessarily feel like any of my faculties were reachable. Sometimes like I, would, I wouldn't be able to track time. Um, thankfully that doesn't happen as much. All, all these things get worse with symptoms, of course. Is, well, yeah, as <clears throat> as either capacity of the brain or sensory system, uh, system gets, gets used then the symptoms <clears throat> of the overuse the kind of things breaking down or elements that are out of place heating up um tend to manifest more and so all these kind of things are all you know the spectrum of experience um there's one other thing that i thought of in terms of for maybe i can maybe i already covered it <clears throat> um Yeah, but this I decided to put together this video, the sort of the, this is how I talk video. Um, it's yeah, it's funny. Even with, it's easy even if if making videos is something you do to get kind of uh, uh, I want to say the wrong impression, but it's, well, I guess it's easy to get the wrong impression especially when you see someone doing so well in their video and then a week goes by and you see them doing well in their video and then like like you have no idea what happened in between then in between those two or uh, what it actually took to make the one of those videos or how many takes it took and um <clears throat> yeah so uh, hopefully this is interesting or useful somehow um i think it's always good to kind of see the see behind the curtain and see how the machine works once in a while. Just, it's just kind of grounding, I think, to, uh, just like, oh, wow, I didn't, uh, I didn't realize that they, they struggled with this or that. That's kind of like me, you know, that's, that, that's sort of, uh, therapeutic value of, of, of the group, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think I'm forgetting something, but, uh, that was the, the main the main purpose of the video was was just that to uh, uh, yeah normally I would be editing all of these little pauses and stuff out uh, I don't know. I guess I've everything just kind of blew out of my mind. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope everyone is doing okay out there, and I will talk to you later. Let's recover together. <laughs>